Timor Awakening, what does it mean? I've been on all six trips so far and I've seen three developments. You bring people together who don't know each other and they come together in anxiety, they come together in uncertainty, they come together with various states of wellness and various states of unwellness. Some are further along the journey, some are just starting to get back to where they want to be, to be the best versions of themselves. And by binding people together in this unknown, uncertain and very different cultural environment in Timor-Leste, um, they come together but they also see uh, a society that they've not had a lot of contact with. And for veterans returning, they see a new Timor from the Timor that they saw if they were there with Interfet or earlier in the 2000s, a Timor that was struggling, a Timor that was partly destroyed, a people that were traumatised. They now see a people that are happy, they see a welcoming of Australians, they see a, an engagement of humanity that they have not experienced and don't tend to experience back in Australia where they're in many cases closed down, in many cases feeling that they're not going to be able to achieve a wellness in life and they uh, in some cases do despair. They come on this program and they re-engage with fellow veterans who are suffering. They re-engage and engage with Timorese society. And I've seen transformations in people, new commitments to going forward into Australia to be the best versions of themselves, to look at that next season of life in a positive way, as opposed to feeling despondent that they're never going to recover the person that they were. And we say, you can't recover the person that you were. Uh, you can just go and be the next person, that reinvented person, that more positive person. And this is the place where they seem to get that energy from the people, get that idea of resilience, that idea that bad things can happen to you, that that is a fact, but if that can't be changed, then you head to the future more optimistically. On the 8th of April 2018, 24 Australian veterans and partners arrived in Dili to a warm traditional welcome. A large group of distinguished Timorese national heroes embraced each of the Australian veterans and presented ceremonial ties before welcoming inside the VIP lounge. A notable first was to be received by the new Australian ambassador, Peter Roberts, at his home on the Esplanade. Peter showed a great interest in veterans, in supporting our program, and contributing to military commemoration and remembrance in Timor. The Australian veterans had seen service from many operational missions, including Malaysia, Vietnam, Fiji, Somalia, Bougainville, Solomon Islands, Namibia, Thailand, Iraq, Afghanistan, and multiple domestic operations in Australia. Fifteen participants had served in East Timor, now known as Timor-Leste, on various operations, including Interfed, Muntayet, ISF and DCP. I was here nearly uh, 20 years ago when <coughs> things were bad. Very, um, I was young and naive. Came in to, um, to, uh, to do a job. Um, and I did that to the best of my ability and, and more. But then, um, but then just, just left with this uh, um, horrible feeling that um, <clears throat> I hadn't done, or even our country hadn't done enough for the for the East Timorese. So, uh, um, yeah, struggled with that for a long time. And then uh, I'm not going to lie, I was anxious coming over. So were you, Michelle? I was very anxious because, um, <clears throat> like I said, last time I was here, there was so much. Um, there was so much pain and, and, and suffering and, and everything was black. And um, um, yeah, there was, it, was, it, was just, it was bizarre. It was a thing I'd never experienced before. Four spouses accompanied their partners as carers and as participants. Family of veterans are interwoven in all sacrifices and consequences of military service. The family is the silent partner in the journey of military service, suffering when the veteran suffers, and their greatest carer. The 
that these people can have so little but still express such joy and gratitude is really, really humbling. And the program is without fault. The support and the tools that we've been given for when we go home, that after this experience is finished, we're not just left with happy memories. We've been given incredibly strong tools on how to apply things to our lives, how to implement change, how to move forward and, and leave those memories behind and create new ones. Um, so it's been, it's been incredible. Having family members on this journey is powerful for our veterans and a powerful experience for their carer. The time in Dili started our journey from darkness to light. We learned of the horrors of the Kamaka political prison, the suffering of the Santa Cruz Semitrum massacre, and the National Resistance Museum. The paradox for our veterans was to see the Timorese veterans, who can now look back on these times without distress and deep pride in their having dealt with it. Our first rural journey was a 40 minute drive to Likisa, a sleepy fishing village on the north coast. Hundreds of outriders escorted the long convoy of Timorese and Australian veterans who were met by a joyful community welcome of over a thousand people. feel now, eh? No, I'm not real good. I'm getting better. I'm happy. Right. Seeing what this is all about, it brings back a lot of tears. Right. Get choked up a bit. Right. Just uh, thinking about what these people went through all those years, from 75 onwards, right, and why we've helped and how this country has improved so much, it's unreal. Right. I've always got a smile on their face, even though they went through so much hardship. I remember one story long ago, in 2000, a little girl of about four or five got attacked with a machete. I picked her up and I carried her, right, and rang up, I was at a Kusi. I rang up Dilly for med medical, and they said because she's not dying, they couldn't help. So I put her in the car and I took her up to the South Koreans who had medic and they looked after her for a while. Another picked that little girl up, she looked at me, no tears. We laid flowers at the Garden of Heroes and Martyrs of the Resistance. We can be proud of our history. We spent time by the ocean, reflecting on health and healing, receiving life coaching, and discussing resources and groups that can support us in Australia. We impromptu sang and danced with the Likasar Parish Youth Group in the Likasar Church Ground. A place where many were murdered in 1999 is now a place of joy. So it can be for us. Our past should not hold us hostage. We were ministered by the ocean, and soothed by a pod of flipper dolphins to entertain us. We must let nature speak to us. We gave out 2,000 education kits to school children. A little gift, but greatly appreciated. Giving is both healing and uplifting. On day five, a long escort followed the convoy an hour west to the town of Adabai. 
The group were welcomed again with traditional ceremony into the Adabai village, a town of significance for many veterans who were based here from 1999 to 2004. Over a thousand people welcomed us in Adabai, having travelled from far and wide. The ceremony was full of song, dance, music and ritual. Our veterans became more comfortable meeting the locals, witnessing their joy despite their material poverty. In Balabo, the historical Portuguese fort was home for three nights with its tranquil surrounds. Yeah, I, I served in Australia. I did national service and uh, did my time there. Took me discharged in 1973 and I re-engaged in 1975. At that time, uh, a lot of the Balabo uh, event was, was happening then and we had no information as soldiers, I know we, we wanted to come and, and step in and be part of helping t the Timorese people, but there was just that bit of information and the information stopped and nothing ever happened and it was all covered up. And to find out now uh, what did happen and the story that was told to us, uh, it is, I'm a bit ashamed uh, originally, ashamed uh, that our government treated these people the way they did and the way that the veterans of the Timorese resistance accepted us as fellow veterans was overwhelming. Like, uh, be, they're just wonderful, lovely men and it's their, their honour to serve their country the way they did under the conditions of the resistance in the mountains for 24 years is it's inspiring. And I think well, what I did was nothing compared to what they did. We watched the movie of Balabo, a story of six Australian journalists murdered in 1975 by Indonesian troops as they invaded. We realise suffering comes to many people, not just us. But it doesn't define us. What is important is what we learn from it and what we do to make the world a better place. Hi, uh, my name's Greg Murty. Um, last time I was over in Timor-Leste was in 2000 with Antayet. Um, served with 2nd 14th Light Horse Regiment and um, yeah, the uh, terrain was a lot different um, back then to what it is now. It's actually beautiful. Um, people are still beautiful. People are still smiling no matter what. And um, yeah, it's, it's good to come back and, and see that we actually did make a difference. For a long time after I got back home, um, I held a lot of um, resentment, um, both towards the Indonesians and um, towards the Timorese people, um, which wasn't fair. It, um, yeah, the Timorese are beautiful people and I'm glad to see that they've uh, rised above all the, the stuff that's happened. So it's fantastic to be back. This is a great, great experience. Um, it's helped me in so many ways that um, I was a little bit apprehensive at the beginning and um, yeah, once once uh, once we started to work as a team and we, we, we were relying on each other and we're here for each other and that's what the Team Marie's people are all about. So it's about time that uh, maybe in Australia we should take a little bit of that too. So it was good. A very good experience. Every day the group gathered for circle time where participants reflected on their learnings and hopes for the future. Some of us celebrated Mass at St Anthony's Parish Church, much joy in singing again. We played football, realising how important exercise is to us. We remembered the sacrifice of 32,000 Australians who served in Balibo and other parts of Timor from 1999 to 2012. Padre Gary led us in a service of healing at the Australian Memorial. We prayed and sang. in Timor 2002 
when I come on this Timor Awakening, arrived in Darwin, I was very apprehensive. Anxiety got to me. I was quite scared. When I arrived in Dili, there was no burning smell at all. It was beautiful. And the journey here from Dili all the way through up to Balabo, it's had its ups and downs, but a lot more ups. I've never, I've never laughed so much for a long, long time. The people here are wonderful. Right from the young children, right up to the old veterans, they're just so happy. Maliana is the border capital of the Bobanara district. Here, TA6 members were received by Resistance Hero and founder of Timor Leste. Shinana Guzmao. Shinana thanked us for caring for the Timorese people, for our service, and his faith in the power of our person-to-person -person bond between Australians and Timorese, and especially amongst our veterans. My name's Arthur Davis. I was in East Timor in um, 1999. I discharged from the army about five years ago and I struggled throughout those times um, being in the dark and always trying to see the light. So my message to you is, in life we're all born geniuses and sometimes our journey in life can degenius us. And if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. The adversity we experience in life makes us who we are. You need to have a growth mindset. Believe, succeed. You can change. Put your hand up, put your hand out. Timor Awakening will catch you. We visited the hospital and gave gifts to sick children. We experienced the joy of giving and caring for those in need. We reflected on our journey with more circle times and one-on-one -on -one pastoral care meetings, planning our way forward from here, our transition into a healthier, productive life. I had a bad accident, a vehicle accident in, during my, my time and, uh, in 1980, and uh, that's where I got my uh, mental illness from. Uh, I've done courses with DVA and VVCS and I actually thought I was travelling uh, pretty well until I came here uh, I realised that I haven't been I've, I've uh, had a lot of reflection on this trip and, and found that I, I need, really needed this, this tour uh, I have actually witnessed several younger veterans that were here in 99 and 2006 and just to witness how they they presented at the start of the, uh, the, the journey and how they look now uh, they have had a lot of closure uh, and they look a lot more settled and I think everyone who's done this course has 
got the same benefit out of it. It is, it's a fantastic way of finding out that, okay, you might have problems, but your problems are nowhere near as bad as what the Timorese is. And, and they're, they're really trying, really working hard to form the sort of systems we have in Australia. And, and we're proud to, to be associated with them and call them brothers, as they call us brothers, in, and hope that they can form something similar to the RSL. And we'd love to see the Timorese government form something like our DVA, Department of Veteran Affairs. And uh, I know I'm going to go home and, and change a few things and try and lift my game a bit more in helping other veterans achieve what I've achieved here. Veterans Care Association offers veterans an awakening opportunity with education on holistic health and healing and resources for planning a way forward. We aim to inspire veterans and their families to take responsibility for their future. We show that we care and encourage all veterans to care for others. Therein lies the key to living. The power of healing, learning and growth that can be achieved by veterans supporting veterans is unquestionable. We are fortunate to have such amazing neighbours who give us hope, inspiration, make us feel and smile again. Okay, before Tony and I came uh, to Timor, um, we were advised by a lot of people not to come. Tony has second stage dementia and they kept saying this won't work, it's no good, he won't appreciate it, bloody blah, bloody blah, blah and Tony and I both decided that Tony would be more injured by not coming than he has to come. So we made a decision that together that we will come because of Tony's dementia, um, life is a struggle for him and we often refer to it as being on that wheel, constantly running and running and running and getting nowhere, getting nowhere. So since coming to Timor-Leste, um, miraculous things have happened to us, many, 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 many gifts, uh, not only from the Timor Awakening veterans who have accompanied us because their support and their love um, ha have made this trip so healing and so therapeutic. Uh, Tony has, has grown and the man I see beside me today is a much calmer and happier man than what he was when we left Australia. I mean, the people here are so, are so beautiful, are so beautiful. You absolutely have to be open to it. And if you're open to the healing, then, then it will come. Tony, how do you think you have benefited by coming here? Just so much karma. Like no frustrations at all. Uh, and I'm so happy. Uh, it's uh, it's just exhilarating. Tony, how you feel about the Timorese people? Huh? Uh, th they are just the wonderful, wonderful people. They, uh, they are so fun. Um, and the kids uh, uh, are just so happy and, and glad. And, uh. Yeah, I'm very proud of my husband to to take that step of what's possibly take that first step to be willing to be healed. Because you will find healing here if you're open to it. You will. And to have the person I love smile and to see tears in his eyes because he's a big tough guy. <laughs> that's, that's been amazing for me. And his anxiety has, um, has diminished so much. And I think it was by day three he looked at me and he said, I'm actually relaxed. And he fell asleep. I liked that. I liked that a lot. So for all those reasons, the Timor Awakening Program has been 
incredible for Ank and for me and for us as a couple. And I would highly recommend that if possible that the partners try and experience with the people that they love because um, it makes a difference.